Every move in art is different. Moving the rope dart is more like freedom, whereas fighting in the ring, it's just a rush. It's this exhilarating, a raw, primal experience. It's incomparable to anything else. But at the same time, it's, it's an equal pleasure, but something more serene when you're practicing, say, a broadsword or a rope dart or a spear. It's something beautiful that you can manipulate this this material is just like a hunk of metal attached to a rope. You can turn it into something beautiful. You can move with it. It becomes part of you. You become one with it. And when you move, you think of nothing else. You just think of Zen. It's, it's nothingness. It's, but at the same time, you're whole. There's something like this becomes alive as you become alive. Now, I don't mean to sound pretentious or arrogant, but to not care is something that a lot of people should do. I feel that as a man and as a person in general that martial arts by itself has helped me become much more unreactive. It has helped me not care as to what social status the other person is. It has helped me become much more egalitarian as a person and generally just accept everybody as who they are. It has helped me become less judgmental and much more accepting. If schools are going to push their students into learning team sports uh, for the values of teamwork, cooperation, how, and how to socialize. Why shouldn't you teach uh, your children how to move? Why shouldn't you teach them how to love themselves, to take pride in their own accomplishments, to understand discipline and how to push themselves without the support of others, to be self-sufficient, self-dependent, unreactive to the opinions of others. That will increase their self-esteem. Our culture nowadays has such a problem with self-esteem that I feel that movement arts would make such a large, such a meaningful impact on society as it is.